All right, what, what about the road? Like I was driving down the road and all of a sudden I stopped because I saw a reindeer. What about the road? It's road abstract. Can you see a road? Yes. Can you feel a road with a bump in it? Yes. So abstract. So road is definitely not abstract. It's concrete. So X that one out. What about anger? When you're angry, can you um, feel angry? It's a feeling, isn't it? So yes, abstract is anger. Anger is an abstract noun. All right, good job. Let's go to the next one. So it says to sort the nouns in the correct groups. So I, for one, cannot drag the, oops, sorry guys. I cannot drag um, the nouns into these boxes for whatever reason. So if you have paper and pencil, go ahead and write them in the correct, um, go ahead and make two boxes, an abstract and a concrete box. If not, we'll just do it together. Um, you can just say it out loud. All right, so concrete nouns, we know for sure are nouns so we can see and smell and touch and hear and taste. All right, and then abstract are nouns we cannot see, smell, touch, hear, or taste. We can just feel these um, nouns, these emotions, or feelings. All right, so student. Can you see a student? Is student concrete or abstract? I can see a student. I can hear a student. Um, so, yep, my neighbor is a student. So, yep, so student's going to be concrete. Let's take student and put in concrete. If you say concrete, you are absolutely correct. All right, moving on to beauty. Is beauty something that you can um, see? We can see beauty. Can you smell it or taste it? Um, if beauty is something that, um, that's kind of tricky. It could be concrete or abstract. If you feel beautiful, on the inside, then it's an abstract noun. Um, beauty, if you see a beautiful flower and um, recognize it as something that you can actually um, touch or see, it depends on um, the noun that's connected to the word beauty. So let's just say in this case, we can't really, really physically touch beauty. We can touch a beautiful something. So let's just say beauty um, is going to be an abstract noun. Yep, and what about the pet? Can we hear a pet or smell a pet or taste a pet or touch a pet? Yep, so pet is going to be concrete. Um, the next one is kindness. Is kindness concrete or abstract? Let's think about that one. Hmm, if you said... Kindness is abstract now. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. Good job. Because it is a feeling or it's an, a characteristic. Someone who shows kindness, uh, we can't actually touch it or see it. We can just kind of feel it or um, uh, imagine it. We can't really physically touch it, okay, or hear it. We can hear kind words, but we can't actually hear the act itself. Music, what about music? Music concrete or abstract? Hmm. All right, so you said music was concrete. Ding, 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 you are correct. We can actually hear music. Yeah, we can hear music. What about school? School concrete or abstract? If you said school was concrete, guess what? Then you're incorrect. School is concrete. I'm sorry, you said school was abstract. You're incorrect. School is concrete. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to give you one. This next four words liberty, honesty, popcorn, idea. I want you guys to um, think about it on your own and discuss with. Um, your friend, your mom, your sister, your brother, where these four nouns go in the categories. Liberty, honesty, popcorn, or idea. If they are concrete or abstract. If you can actually see them, touch them, then they are concrete. If you can't, if you can only feel them or um, imagine them, they are abstract. So go ahead and discuss these four nouns. Liberty, honesty, popcorn, idea. 
and go ahead and place them in the correct groups. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we did for these four nouns, which group we put them in. So we said liberty. If you said liberty was abstract, you're correct. Because it's a state of being. Um, it's nothing we can I, I physically see or touch or smell. What about honesty? It's a behavior trait. It's how one behaves. Um, and it is in fact, an abstract noun. Next noun is popcorn. Is popcorn concrete or abstract? Depends if we can, can we touch popcorn or taste it or smell it? Hmm, if you said concrete, you are correct. And then our last noun is idea. Can we see or touch or taste or feel an idea? Hmm, no, we can think of ideas. They're all in our imagination. So an idea is going to be abstract now. Good job. All right, moving on, we're going to underline and identify the concrete and abstract nouns. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to write these four sentences down. You can pause it here, write these four sentences, and I want you guys to submit your answers to me via um, Dojo. So go ahead and respond to me via Dojo. Um, we have created a new class, Dojo, for um, Ms. Woods' um, alligators, bears, and cheetahs. So submit your answers to me via Dojo, and then I will have a cute little, um, we can have a, you know, a cute conversation, or we can respond and um, discuss these answers as well as how everything is going during this quarantine. I want to hear from you guys. Um, I may even do a quick Zoom. If you can get on, um, send it to me in Dojo as well. So go ahead and pause the video here. Write these sentences, and we're looking for um, looking to identify concrete and abstract nouns in each sentence. So you write the four sentences, discuss them, the answers with your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, whomever, and um, maybe call a friend over the phone, one of your classmates over the phone, and you guys can have a conversation about these four sentences. All right, and remember to submit them to me via Dojo. Or via my email, your parents have my email address. And I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Love you, miss you. Um, just stay safe and healthy, guys, okay? Bye-bye.